Right, I'm here at the Cars and Coffee meet in uh, Barros and I'm here with Frederick and Frederick has got a very nice uh, S2000 and he's done quite a bit to it. So Frederick, first we'll start with, when did you get the car? I bought it back in 2016, uh, bone stock. Uh, and it was black, just a bone stock car. I wanted to have a normal car besides my track car. So that's why I got an S2000. It doesn't look like a normal S2000, so you've done quite a bit of work to it, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's wide body, uh, carbon fiber hood, Voltex uh, kit, front side skirts, and you have uh, an AP2 rear bumper with the JDP diffuser, uh, the Honda S2000 CR wing from the States, uh, an ASM rear lip, and, and a complete color chain as, uh, as well. Okay. And spoon mirrors as well. And you've done all this work yourself then, eh? Me and my friends, yeah. All right. Now, I did look under the bonnet earlier, yep. and uh, I saw some stuff that I don't even recognize that you've done to, the, to this engine, yeah? So, uh, we take a look at that. Wow. Well, we see the VTEC. Yeah, all, v- all the VTECs. <laughs> right, let's start with uh, that monstrosity you have there. So, it's a TTS supercharger um, with ID injectors, radium fuel kit, uh, and a Haltech standalone system. Wow. Uh, and I have a Jace Racing uh, header, uh, intercooler, catch tanks, everything you need wow. to make it fast, faster. <laughs> and how long did it take you to put all of that together then? Well, so I started building it 2017, the, the supercharger kit I did this winter. Okay. So what were you getting before you put the supercharger in? Uh, 240 horsepower. Wow. So it makes a whole heap of difference, yeah? Yeah, it, 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 it has the power that it should have from the factory. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, you have the Olin's Roden track chassis, you have spoon brakes, you have um, the complete interior swap from an AP2, uh-huh. uh, including uh, the center console with, oh, wow, with yeah. carbon fiber, yeah. spoons, racing steering wheel, the Haltech gauge. Uh, uh-huh, I'm really allergic to gauges, so I can, I can manage to have one. <laughs> I guess you're going to have to be checking a lot of stuff when you're driving around in this car when you're really pushing it, I guess. Uh. Yeah, and then you have a spoon roll cage, um, right. and then the rear you have even the depot taillights. It's really nice. Thank you. You've done a really great job there, Frederick, with that car, yeah? Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for uh, giving us the opportunity to have a look at it, a close look. Right. Where, where can we find you if, uh, if people want to see more of uh, your car? So if you want to find me on Instagram, it's Daytona S2K. Daytona S2K. Yeah. All right, cheers, man. Thanks Thank for coming around uh, Cars of Coffee in Barros. And uh, look who I bumped into. What are you doing there, matey? Uh, just having a quick look, mate, like everyone does. <laughs> it's a nice selection of cars from Barros area. Uh-huh. Lots of sports cars, as you can see down here. You've got your Porsches, your Fiat's, everything. Across that side, you've got a few old classics, you know me. I like a classic. <laughs> but you got anything uh, interesting there? Uh... Yeah, so most people look at this car, the first thing they think, yeah. Is it's a Fiat. Did I? Yeah. I thought it was a push. Ah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I've had a quick look around it, and I'm telling you, this is the most <laughs> coolest and rarest car. So this is a, this is a Jensen Healey. Okay. It's a ni- 1975, and right. it was, uh, it's got a Lotus engine under that. It's a two liter Lotus engine. All right, now you're talking, mate. So you never really see these cars. They were, they were, they were really popular. Most of them export to the US. Oh, right, okay. So really, really rare to find one of Europeans. A Jensen Healey? Yep, a lot of people think it's like a Fiat Spider when they see it from the side. Yeah. But you don't find them. There's... It has got characteristics of a lot of other cars, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit Fiatish, but it's not. If you look at it's a lot longer car. Right. Yeah. It's like also a little bit like, you know, like this, a uh, bit like the, the Triumph Stag-ish. That's right, yeah. So there's a lot of... Uh, yeah, it's got like the... Yeah, actually, I can see a lot of Triumph in there. Yeah. Actually, we look at the dash in that. Triumph Stag. But, you know, a lightweight car, Lotus engine, twin cam. All right, I mean, like you said, I don't think... Maybe I've seen one, but I thought it was something else, huh? You, know, you hardly ever see them. Yeah. I would say probably of all this... All of them, perhaps like... 80%, 90% were sold to the US. Okay. It was built for the US market. Right. Really. So we have no idea how many of these exist in Sweden or anything uh, like that? I have to maybe 100, maybe 50, 100, something uh, like that. I but you can we... see it's a bit different. I thought I'd find you something a bit different. I mean, oh. of course, there's loads of Porsches and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but if you want to have a look what I drove today, 
Kong. Oh, Hong Kong. Anyway, let's have a look. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm supporting the Swede today. <laughs> Volvo 240 SE. Right. But it's kind of not. Okay. What do you mean? Because it is basically a classic. The last. This car is number 40 of the last 200 ever built. Okay, wow. Yeah. So you could have had an option on this car to make it into a, what they call the classic. Right. And that would have been a difference between you would have had a wooden dashboard inlay, right. you'd have had an extra decal, and it would have had a decal on the back saying classic. Right. But the best thing about this car, yeah. one owner, one owner. From who? All right. 13,000, 130,000 kilometers. Wow and not one single piece of rust on this car. If you find a rust spot on this car, <laughs> I give you 100 quid or 1,000 grand. All right, let me get and me magnifying glass out. Just have a look inside. I mean, looking at those seats, you can see it hasn't done any miles. I don't think... And the steering wheel. I don't think anybody's ever sat in the back seat. <laughs> the, the old lady had this. Yeah. She bought it brand new in Halmstad. Right. Only drove, never drove in the winter. Yeah. And she lived to 101. 101? Mm. Wow. I mean, everything is just, maybe some bits and bobs in the boot, but it's hardly ever, yeah. hardly ever used. Wow. And you know what tomorrow is? It's the Volvo Vroom Festival in Gothenburg. So this one we're going to drive down and show it. Right. And these are very flexible now, because it's been the last, last in the series. Right. In this condition, you just don't find them anymore. Yeah. So this will be a very interesting car for a collector. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, more from uh, this Volvo 240. What is it, a GS? Or? Two, it's a SE. SE. 240 SE, but it should be a 240 Classic. You could have had an option for that. Low mileage, one owner. Yeah. I mean, it, you're talking like it's up for sale. It is for sale. It is, yeah? It's on the auction right now. <laughs> Get your bidding in. <laughs> You've been warned. Huh? <laughs> okay, so here at the Cars and Coffee, I found Istaban, and Istaban has a very nice 911. Right, first, first question: When, how long have you had the car? I've had it for like eight months, so okay. not very long. I bought it stock. It's actually a 991.1, so it's a pre facelift but I facelifted it with the new front bumper, rear bumper, tail lights, even new steering wheel and stuff like that. The brakes, were they stock as well then, huh? Yeah, the brakes are stock, but the wheels aren't. Uh, those are custom BC Forge wheels right. in a light gold color. Very nice. The modification you've done on the outside is plain to see. Yep. Um, have you done anything to the engine of the car? Yes. So we basically changed all the piping, so intercooler yeah. uh, and charge pipes, wire pipe, plenum, everything uh, to do 88 yeah. stuff. And then it's a custom exhaust without cats, three inch all the way. Uh, and we have a tune from by design, Sam from the United States, which is tuned via Cobb access port. Uh, so basically right now it's stock turbo still. So it leaves around 700, 720 horsepower Whoa. crank. <laughs> uh, it does 100 to 200 in 5.2 seconds. Whoa. Uh, and next up, here in September, we're actually changing turbos and putting on meth kit. Okay. So we're hoping for around 900 plus crank. <laughs> yeah. Right. Have you had this on the track at any point? No, not on the track yet. You've only had it eight months and you've done all that stuff to it already, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, is your intentions to get it on the track? You mean on a drag race track or yeah. a proper track? Listen, I know, I've seen these Porsches on like tracks and they always do well and yeah, people drive well. home with them and then drive them to work on Monday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well basically I'm probably going to run some, some kind of drag race tracks. Right. I love driving on circuits as well. Right. But uh, it's just, I have three kids and stuff and right. you know, I know once you start with the <laughs> track days, it takes up a lot of time yeah, I and money for that, that yeah. matter. Yeah. So we might see you at Street Week or something like that then? Yeah, yeah, next yeah, year, yeah? maybe, yeah. Excellent car, man. Uh, Thanks, man. Where can we find you if we're looking for more information of you and so, your car? So on Instagram, I have an account named uh, Geek Car Guy. Right. There you can find some in info and pics. So please give a follow. Yeah. Excellent, man. Look, thanks for your time, man, and thanks, thanks for bro. showing your car. Thank you.
Right, I'm here with the guys from GMH. So we're starting over here. This is Gary. Michael. And this is Hans. Right. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, we had a nice little show here today. Uh, what's it all so. about and who? how did it start and who started it? Well, it, it was started by Michael here. Um, he got an idea from the uh, United States where we have cars and coffees uh, during morning hours before the rush hour. So we don't have a rush hour here, but, <laughs> but, we, still, but we have mornings. In the morning, so, so we get together and uh, just uh, bring our cars and grab some coffees and having a good time with uh, other people with the same interest. Well, how long have you guys been doing this for then? For uh, two and a half years. Year. All right, two and a half years. Yeah. Year. So the fourth time. The fourth time, yeah? Yep. And it's always in this location, is that correct? Yes. That's right. All right, yeah. so what, what is the address here, just in case anyone wants to come down and enjoy? Norskogen Borås. Right, Norskogen. And, yeah. you, have, <laughs> and you have a Facebook page or...? We have, yeah. uh, we have Facebook, uh, GMH, and Instagram, uh, Garage with Benefits. Okay, excellent. Right, yep. so when are we going to see you guys out again? And, uh, you never spring, know. Spring you never know. Springtime spring spring will be the next year. Springtime, right? Yeah. So, yep, so I've recorded all the cars we've seen here today, some great cars. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for putting this on, and I'll see you, and hopefully, some more people come down as well for we the next so. one. We hope so. Welcome. Everyone is welcome. Yeah. Very good. Thanks. So, I hope you really enjoyed the show. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you all again next week for some more Cars of Sweden live. <laughs>